start by reminding everyone that this is on the question of supporting education in emergencies and post crisis transition countries. And we're going to start by calling up Liberia. Delegate, you may begin by reading the operative causes. One, suggest the creation of the United Nations Provision of Education in Crisis, UNDEC, as a subbody of the United Nations to work in partnership <coughs> with the United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization, the Education and Emergencies and Post Crisis Transition Program, the Special Representative of the Secretary General for Children and Armed Conflict, and the Office of the High Commissioner of Human Rights. Special Rapporteur on the Right to Education, with a mandate to deploy their educational assistance services to affected member states upon request and in the hopes of contributing to inter alia the following. The debate time is set for 90 minutes. By Adiria. Now, Honorable Chairs, fellow delegates, we, the delegation of Liberia, believe that one of the core values of the UN is the right to education. And to deny anyone this is not only denying them of human rights, but also denying them of a prosperous future. However, we appreciate the fact that, that certain circumstances can, unfortunately, impede the provision of education, such as during times of crisis or natural disaster. But we, the delegation of Liberia, believe that this resolution is a proactive step towards resolving these hindrances and aiding the provision of education during these times. We believe it encompasses monetary and physical aid alongside the maintenance of communication between member nations as seen in Clause 8 and Clause 1 and Sub-Clause 8. It is the responsibility of us, the 193 states of the United Nations, to strengthen our global efforts to implement education. We encourage member states to participate actively and to bring absolute cooperation along with constructive spirits and the determination to succeed to discourse over the following days to eradicate this issue. Does the delegate open herself to any points of information? Any other one? Thank you, delegate, for an excellent resolution. Um, however, with respect to Clause 7, doesn't the delegate agree that when controlling and preventing child labor practices, children would have a Children who have a responsibility as a breadwinner in their family would not be able to receive any income. Uh, we do agree with your point and we thank you for it. However, we believe that the provision of education is of the utmost importance and it's our responsibility to aid these children who you speak of in your point to provide them with education. And however it may be the case that they are the breadwinner within their family, we believe that the provision of education is much more important and will lead to a more prosperous future. Um, thank you for your speech. How does the delegate suggest persuading the parents that are scared to let the children leave the home? Thank you for your point, delegate. We believe that uh, this resolution encompasses security and uh, all matters to do with it, and we would urge we would urge the United Nations and those relevant to the resolution to. Um, to persuade the parents and ease their minds of the dangers of what would be maybe surrounding leaving their homes and getting education. Um, the Clause 8, uh, the delegate mentioned the uh, Clause 8, the Clause states that uh, promotes the establishment of an educational program. Uh, Who is going to establish this specific educational program? Subbody mentioned in the first clause, the United Nations Provision of Education in Crisis, um, along with all relevant NGOs and UNOs, would uh, establish this educational program to at their discretion. Thank you. Does the realize that UNICEF already performs all the functions of the UNPC? Uh, we do see that, however, we believe that it's of great importance this issue, and we believe that the creation of the subbody is necessary to devote all of the attention relevant and necessary to eradicating this issue and just devoting our time for that. Thank you. May the delegate please walk back to the chair. Thank you. Dear delegates, um, the delegation of Italy would like to urge you to strongly urge you to vote against this resolution. It's very general uh, and as a resolution actually should offer guidelines for the country to be able to adopt it. This is very general and simply endorses NGOs that already submit actions. 
So uh, let us sketch it from uh, so some of the negative aspects of the resolution. So first of all, Clause 7. Uh, the International Labour Organization or an NGO cannot directly arrest or interfere with the custodial sentences. And we believe that this suggests um, a legislative measure to member states which can be easily misused to not only arrest but implement uh, harsher custodial sentences to political, religious, or other enemies of the state. Uh, furthermore, plus uh, five, this thing, no, um, wait a second. Um, furthermore, plus 5a, uh, we do not know what nationality um, these uh, UN peacekeeping protection of civilian mandates would have, uh, and therefore we cannot ensure that they will, would be objective and neutral to the topic. So, um, clause 5 and 7, instead of, uh, of forming a friendly and protective environment as this promises, it creates an environment of monitoring, controlling, and even politically biased um, mandates and our soldiers. So, um, furthermore, clause 4, um, which suggests no, uh, clause uh, 8a, excuse this, um, is simply educating teachers about mental health instead of actually also having school for uh, disabled, physically disabled or blind, which are so many, which can be so many in uh, political emergencies or even natural hazards caused emergencies. Um, and finally, um, clause 5 is listing all of the ideal characteristics it wants to achieve, but it doesn't elaborate on how it's going to be achieved. In general, if, if the resolution is very vague, it is things it hasn't explained and we are to vote against it. Thank you. Government. 
but they are cooperating for um, finding partial custodial sentences, and they are also um, there are three NGOs that will be conducting um, many uh, monitoring, and then will be cooperating with the government so that the government can arrest uh, these teachers. Therefore, not the employee from the international labor organization is going to be arresting, of course, uh, the teachers, but the government. But still, doesn't mean that um, there could, that there will be that there could be cooperation, and that this could also lead to 